The T-5469, a Russian tank built in China and used widely in the Middle East. The latest addition to Nick Mead's tank driving business in the Midlands, which includes everything from a tank hearse to a tank limousine. I saw it advertised on eBay and then on further investigation it also popped up on uh, Millweb and it's the kind of last jewel in the crown of doing a new thing called From Russia With Love where people can come along, drive three Russian tanks and run a car over. Around 100,000 of these tanks were produced and they had a colourful history. In 1990, this was an Iraqi army vehicle and it's thought this tank was used during the invasion of Kuwait under Saddam Hussein. Now, during that time, Iraqi forces were not only occupying the country, they were also looking for expensive souvenirs. Little did the team know that when they bought the tank, it was hiding a secret from the Gulf War. Well, this is the bottom side of the tank and um, like you can see, it's pretty light. Um, I disconnected the uh, feeds to them, uh, to this particular tank, and went to lift it up, uh, and I couldn't lift it. I just managed to pry it up enough to see a hole cut in the bottom of it, and that raised alarm bells with me. I assumed that the tank would probably have some guns uh, stashed away inside, kind of typical uh, loot from a battlefield. So I carefully put my hand up into the hole and gingerly felt around and thought, this isn't a gun. Is that what I think it is? Five gold bars in total, weighing between five and eight kilograms each, and believed to be worth two million pounds. The most shocking aspect of this find was that with most of these tanks, all the goodies have been found by their current owners many years ago. This was the King Tut tomb of tanks because this one, everything was that you'd have thought been found many years ago, was still there. Uh, well, it's not exactly an emergency, but I do... Well, no, it is an emergency. We're the tank place on the Welsh Lane, Spring Farm, Helmden, it's Nick Mead. We found uh, umpteen bars of gold bullion in a Iraqi tank that we're restoring. The gold has now been handed over to Northamptonshire Police for investigation. I've had lots of abuse about that, lots of abuse from all over the world. Are you mad? <laughs> no, I'm not mad. But there was a lot, there was kids running around and everything else and the whole world knew about it. There was people texting, Nick's found gold, it was going everywhere. And I was thinking, hmm, you know, maybe if I'd been all on my own, it would have been a different story. While the gold is traced back in Kuwait, the team hope to get this tank on the move soon. A gem in a rather unusual collection. Ali Gibson, Forces News in Helmden, Northampton.